way out, so I, I will enjoy myself. When Guru come, I, I will practice. Other than okay, I'm in holiday. So you're all the time holiday mode. <laughs> yeah. So that is in fact uh, affects your progress. So if you are shameful to oneself, so you don't have to depend on your guru or someone else or Lama Jini or can be anyone. You know. So one will always be disciplined. One will follow. One will do all your homeworks uh, as required. So it is the most important. Yeah. And fifth. Uh, compassion. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that we should have a compassion like like Buddha and Bodhisattva, but at least one should have a sense of like caring uh, towards others. <coughs> when you see someone in great pain, you say, "Oh, you deserve that." You know, you are very evil to me. You are, you know, you are very bad to me. So you deserve that. That Buddha punish you. you know? <laughs> so that kind of attitude is wrong. You know, when someone is great pain. Even though physically, you know, if you're not able to help them, at least one, one should have a genuine sense of caring for these individuals. And, and finally, uh, you know, everyone makes mistakes. You know, everyone makes mistakes. You make mistakes. I do make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Making a first mistake is nothing wrong. It's not so serious. But making the same mistake again, then something wrong, you know? <laughs> yeah? Okay, so once you make a mistake, once you have a genuine sense of regret and commitment, oh, today, you know, I did uh, commit sin, uh, I make this mistake, tomorrow I will make sure that next day after tomorrow I won't make this mistake. But if it comes tomorrow, oh, maybe next week I will do that. Or next month, you know, that shouldn't be the case. The moment you make a mistake, you should recognize that mistake and try to commit yourself not to make further mistake. That is very important. So, these six uh, forms, whoever possess this six form in one individual, so this family becomes, belongs to a cut of family. Now, coming to Dubis family, a family, uh, uh, I would call uh, uncertainty. Uh, you are not sure where you belong. Like for instance, if you meet a Sarvakayana uh, teacher, then you follow Sarvakayana the teacher and listen to the Sutra of Sarvakayana, and eventually you may become Sarvakayana student, or Pratika Bodhayana student, or Mahayana student, or Vajrayana. So you are in fact sitting on fence, they call it sitting on fence. Yeah. So you don't know, you may fall either side. This, so this is known as um, um, family, uh, 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 dubious family, dubious family. So many times we may belong to this family because we don't know where we, where we are where we are heading towards. You know. Uh, so this is the family. Now coming to the uh, third family, which is Sarwaka family. Sarwaka family. Sarwaka means a listener <coughs> who listens. <coughs> from Buddha or Bodhisattvas who may also practice, who listens and practice. So this individual is known as Sawaka uh, and uh, family. Now what is the characteristic of how we <coughs> differentiate between other family and this family? So this family has a unique, uh, what you call, false or one may say quality or sort of a, um, uh, um, uh, false, one may say false or uh, quality, who sees samsara as a place of suffering, so who, who always want to, you know, cross the ocean of samsara, who has a great interest of living samsara. Okay? Second, um, who are always looking for a liberation, self-liberation, not liberation for others, but a mainly self-liberation. And finally, uh, who, who lack compassion, who may have a compassion, but very limited compassion. So this group of individuals belongs to Sawakayana family. And the fourth family, which is known as Pratika Buddha family, we call it Rang Sangye. Sometimes we also, also call them uh, like a rhinoceros, you know. These individuals do not like to be in group. They like to be very isolated and very 
very much uh, 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 believes in individualism. You know, in this life they may not have necessarily <coughs> teacher like Buddha or Bodhisattva, but in previous life they have learned, listened from uh, Buddha and Bodhisattva. But in this life, when they visit cemetery, by simply seeing the bones of uh, human being, they're able to relate the practice of their previous life. So they how they actually accomplish uh, their uh, temporal uh, liberation. Now, what kind of uh, characteristic this person, individual has? You know, on top of the quality of or may say four or quality of this uh, Sawaka family, who who has a lot of pride. Always have full of pride, you know. Like I don't have to depend on others. I can be, I can add self liberation myself, and I don't have to depend on so many things. So who has so much of pride on himself or herself, and who always like to second, who always like to keep secret of their guru. Do not want to share who is their guru, who is uh, their master. Always like to keep secret. That is always like not to show, uh, share with anyone. And finally, this is the unique characteristic of Pratika Buddha family. This family lives in isolated, you know, remote areas, isolated places, and just one individual. Do not practice in groups, do not like to be in groups, but always want to be in, in just one individual. So this is the unique uh, characteristic of this group. So there, there are many like questions, you know. Why, if the Sarvakayana Pratika Buddha family, if their liberation is if not the complete enlightenment, then why Buddha introduce such places? Okay. There, there is a good reason. Why? Because these individual <coughs> lack effort and lack uh, terms of wisdom and uh, um, uh, patience. But if you say Buddha, Buddha would take a long time, or then you will say, forget it, I don't want to be Buddha, I want to be who I am now, you know? So like for instance, if, if I you know, bring you to Qinghai, you know, if I don't stop you in uh, Sichuan, if I directly bring to you, so I think you will go crazy, you know? <laughs> and when you reach Sumo, you will be totally crazy. So, so, so some individual needs a help, so they can rest, and Buddha will again, bring them further, finally to uh, Buddhahood. So it is important for this <coughs> individual. Okay?